Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about a story from Judges 4. There are quite a few characters in it. Um, the hero of the story is a woman named Yael. Um, it starts out with telling us that Israel has sinned again after Ehud. If you remember a couple stories back, he's the one who helped deliver Israel from the Moabites. So Israel fell into sin again and turned their back on God. So he allowed them to be oppressed by Jabin, who's the king of Hatzor. And so, um, but the people are turning back to God. And so Deborah, the prophetess, um, the Bible says she always um, sat under a palm tree. She calls um, a guy named Barak to her. And she's like, listen, God is ready to deliver the people from Jabin and from um, Sis Sisera, who is his commander. He, she, so she's like, so go get your army, go. God's giving you the victory, go forth. And he's like, oh, okay, um, I'll go, but w will you go with me? She's like, for real? She's like, sure, I'll go with you, and God's still going to give you the victory, but the actual like credit for the victory is going to go to a woman because you couldn't go without my support. So they go forth and they fight. And they do. They, st they slaughter all of um, Sesera's army, except for Sesera. He, um, he runs away. He's able to get away. And it says that he ran um, to a, the camp of people that he knew were friendly with his king. And so he comes to the camp, and this, this lady is standing outside her tent. And he's like, can, can I come in? Um, I need to hide. Please hide me. She's like, sure, come on in. And her name's Yale. Um, and so he's like, he's like, I'm so tired and I'm so thirsty. He's like, will you please give me, um, just a cup of water? And she's like, no, I'll give you milk here. So she gives him some milk and she tells him to lie down and take a nap. And she covers him up with a blanket and he's like, just keep watch at the door. Like in case anybody comes, she's like, don't, don't worry. Like, I'll take good care of you. He's like, okay. And so he passes out, right? He goes to sleep. And so Yale goes and gets a tent peg and a hammer and she takes the tent peg and sticks it on his head and she drives that tent peg through the man's skull, right? It's got to be quite gruesome actually. And I hope she did it, was able to do it with one. Anyways, so she, um, so because of her, Israel is delivered, right? Because the army is wiped out, their commander is wiped out, wiped out. And so, and then Israel's able to press on to Jabin the king, and, and he stops oppressing them. And so, um, so yeah, so, but the one that everybody knows about is really Yael, who's the lady who was bold enough to go take a tent peg and hammer it through this guy's skull in order to stop him. And so, um, some historical takeaways on this. Um, what I think is interesting, like, there's a king at Hatzor, but there are only judges in Israel and then the clan that Yale's from, it doesn't say if it's a king or a judge or like a patriarch. So um, we're able to see there's different types of government going on and leadership going on in the region. But they all um, have, it seems like, like a type of equal status with them because Jabin was able to hold peace with her, with Jael's clan, but it wasn't like it wasn't did it seem like they were subjugated to him but maybe they were and that's why she decided hey this is a good opportunity to help Israel out on that um we also see that women are prophetess on, on this and that um women aren't as um subjected or quiet that sometimes religion leads us to believe that they were um historically on that uh, I think on the biblical side, we see that if God gives you a promise, go for it. I mean, yeah, it, you know, there is the saying that it doesn't matter who, who gets the credit as long as we get the victory, but that, that true victory had belonged to, was promised to Barak, but because of his fear, the, the credit and the victory was given to someone else and someone who he would think would be below him on that. So God kind of humbled him on that and made us, he was like, well, if you're going to serve fear instead of faith, 
unfortunately, these are the consequences on that. And I think also when God gives you an opportunity, like, like we just go, you sh you need to go for it. Like Yale did. I mean, she nailed it literally on that. Anyway, um, that's all I have. It's a quick little story, a little gruesome, but a quick little story. So, um, questions, comments, um, ideas, once again, feel free to put them in the, in the comment section below. Hope you guys are having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.